What is up friends, it's me, your boy Eric, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I mostly do 370Z content, and from time to time, if it's available, the car's available in my driveway, and a little bit of photography and cinematography. But today, we're doing an extension of the video that I posted two weeks back, which is the all-car Tesla-style screen for the 370Z. In that video, I mentioned I'll do more content, hopefully, on how to make, you know, how to customize this, how to, what you can use this for. So you're here because you want to see customization options for the all car screen. And before we go into deep with this, let me just define the word launcher. So this replaced the stock user interface for home screen and app organization for the Android environment. So it's basically an app theme if you will. Without further ado, here are five car launchers for your all-car Tesla-style screen for your 370Z. All right, first of all, I managed to install these apps because my home Wi-Fi was too generous enough to reach my uh, driveway where my 370Z is. But if your Wi-Fi can't reach your vehicle, use your phone to make a hotspot to download these apps, or you can download the APK packages from your PC and then just transfer it into the screen. All right, number one, all car slash Nova launcher. I mean, it is technically a car launcher since it's preloaded from the company. When you boot it the first time, you're greeted with a classical homepage style. Features I love about this launcher is that it has day night theme correlated to your park lights, a very clean and dynamic climate control UI or user interface. And the settings actually has a lot of features and internal customization. Hell, it even has digital equalizer. In the classical homepage, you have a top dock for the main apps and you can add your favorite apps as well. My main problem with this style is that there's not a whole lot of customization. It's, you can't change anything, unfortunately. So if you go to settings and switch to modern home style, it takes you to a familiar place factory tablet style. You can add widgets, change backgrounds, add as many apps as you want. If you want more customization capabilities in the styling department, feel free to use the preloaded Nova Launcher. I'm not gonna go into deep with that just because it's it's pretty, it, it has, it's a lot. Price, it's free. My rating for this one, eh, seven out of 10. Mm, no, six out of 10. Six and a half out of 10. That's it, I swear. All right, number two, Car Launcher. That's that's the name. Yes, it's just called Car Launcher. It's a little lazy to my taste, not gonna lie. Neat thing about this one, it has a digital speedometer. How accurate? I actually haven't tried it yet. <laughs> if you want more customizability, is that the word? You'll need the pro version, which is paid, obviously, because nothing is free anymore. The free version does literally the bare minimum and the customization is limited, such as adding apps in your home screen, changing colors, adjusting the grid of your installed apps. I don't know why would you want that. And uh, it has a couple of pre-installed layouts, but again, you cannot move anything. My rating, four out of 10. Next one is Vivid Launcher. This one is free. This feels like it's it was inspired uh, from the uh, Apple CarPlay UI. You know, the, the frosted glass containers that complements the background. Yeah, it, it looks very clean. I love the design, the layout, and it's very intuitive. So on the top, it has your time, date, weather, and if you want widgets, it's there, but you can't really, you have to access that button to access the widgets, not outside, you know, in the home page, which is kind of weird. For customization, well, it, it lacks it, you know? I mean, you go under settings, you can add app automation, which, you know, if you set one, automatically start an app. You know, you can change the background, you can adjust the brightness, units of measurement. And for some odd reason, you can set what your car inside the app. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I tried going to Nissan and I, I couldn't find 370Z. So it just hit other model and then it doesn't even change the image. I, why? What's the point? <laughs> For that one, my reading, 
six. Six out of ten. The next one is Agama Car Launcher. Agama? Agama is free, but only for 30 days. So you have a trial period of 30 days, and then you have to pay afterwards. Uh, this is actually one of the coolest looking car launcher from this list. It's not tacky. It has a really extensive customization. You can edit the icons, program the buttons to, to an installed app. And then the centerpiece <laughs> is actually customizable too. So it has a clock, digital speedometer, music, compass, navigation. And if you're not into any of those, you can just put in the, uh, the car make logo right there pretty cool that's right it has m most of the the car makes out there hell it even has motorcycle i mean if you want to identify your uh your screen or your vehicle as a motorcycle i guess you could just do that and you can also change the color and the background and as well as the styles and this one my rating eight out of ten eight out of ten and then last but not the least Car Web Guru Car Launcher. This app is free. Oh, and just a heads up, <laughs> should have actually mentioned this like in the very beginning of this uh, list. When you're installing these, you'll have to go through a lot of uh, these annoying permissions that you have to set. Um, so it's not just this one, it's in including the previous uh, apps that I just mentioned. This one is actually looks decent. I mean, uh, a little tacky to my taste. You know, because skeuomorphism, is that how you pronounce it? Okay, wait, let's Google it. I, I don't know, it's just a, it throws me off. The brush style of the, the buttons, I, I don't know, I don't like, I don't, not, not my cup of tea. The customization on this one is pretty extensive as well. Like Agama Car Launcher, you can program and customize the buttons on every single widget or page that you see on this car launcher. With these pages or widgets, you can customize it with a theme or a layout. So it, ha it also has an app automation, app sorting. It actually has a lot of free themes layout pre-installed. So you can add that on your pages. And uh, you can also change the color, the background. And then there are also premium themes, if you like one of them. You can add it as a widget. You know, those are paid ones, but I think they are worth it. And this one, you know, ties in with Agama. 8 out of 10. I know I rated these apps a little too low just because I have a different, you know, vision in mind. So don't be discouraged in trying them. I just wanted more customization or I was trying to go for a, a Tesla UI feel. So I don't know if I'm going to document that, but you know what, I, I might as well, because I want to show you guys what my, my ideal UI would be, but I still need to do a research. It may be a little tedious to customize some of them, but I assure you, you'd like your all-car Tesla style screen more since you actually, you know, customize it. I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in my description below, but you know, feel free to visit that link and uh, you can enjoy $50 off when you use EV370Z on your checkout. So if you like this video, guys, if you learned something new, if you are excited to get your Tesla style screen from all car, and if you have one already, you're excited to customize it just because of what I showed you, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? We're slowly getting there. I, I am really trying to hope that we reach a thousand <laughs> by my 28th birthday next year, hopefully. Let's see how much I can grind on this one. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at its.ericvenzen and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, folks.